Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create a line chart in Excel and, and how to include a trend line. It's very easy to do, can be very useful in data visualization. We'll just go ahead and, and quickly do it. So I've created some data here to represent home prices and rental prices over the last you know, 10 years or so. And just fictitious uh, data here. So what, what we want to do is we're going to assume we're going to be looking at our home purchase price. And so what we want to know is, on average, how is this data trending? Are we seeing an increase in home prices? Are we seeing a decrease? And so by being able to pull this with a line chart, we'll be able to, to figure this out. So we're going to just go ahead and select that home price data. And then we'll go to the, the Insert tab and then click on Insert a line chart. So we'll be able to just drag that over. And we can see that obviously it looks as if it's an increase in home prices there. Something you'll notice here is we, we just have numbers because we didn't select the year. So we'll go ahead, select the data for our horizontal category, and then we'll just click and drag here. And then that will give us years in our, our line graph there. So now that we have our annual date here on the horizontal line, we can see that we have some up and down in terms of home prices over the last several years, a big jump. But what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and add a trend line. So we'll just go ahead and click that. And so now it's gonna show what that trend is, like how that home price trend has been over the last 10 years, like I said. So we'll click on that, and we're gonna to go to, to more options here as well. And this will pull up all the options for the trend line and something else that we wanna to do to better understand how home prices have been trending is we're going to do display equation on chart. So now, so now it's going to give us our slope intercept formula. So basically what this means if maybe you remember from school, y equals mx plus b, b being our intercept. So it's saying at the beginning of the time period, the trend average was 419,000 for a, a home price or almost 420,000. And then our rise over run. So it's saying that each period with the rise being that each each year it goes up almost 5,400 or $5.3,000 in terms of average home price for every period in time that passes. So for 2014, 2015, it increases on average by $5,393 for each period. So it keeps seeing that month over month. So this is great to show how you're trending and like what the averages are there. It will show you where this line is starting out and, and kind of how it averages going up. So very, very useful if you're looking at trend data. Uh, we'll go ahead and we're gonna do something similar here for our rent price. So we're gonna create a separate chart here. And just kind of go through the steps again. So insert a line chart. So with the rental price. So we'll format this, squeeze it down so it's not so big. And then again, what we wanna do is select data because our we don't have our horizontal data there. So we're just gonna select our dates here. Hit enter. And then we should be good to go and see. So now we see it's not such a, an obvious increase in our price. So what we'll do again is we're gonna click on our uh, line here. So now that we have our rental price data, what we're going to want to do is click on this addition sign chart elements. And again, it's going to give us the option to insert a trend line. And then we're just going to click on more options there to be able to, again, look at that, that equation on the chart. So what we're going to do now is we see that, again, our rental price on average over that time period start at, started out about thirteen hundred and ninety three dollars per month for rent and then each for each year it increased by thirty nine dollars on average so you can see each year it goes up thirty nine dollars for every period and so that's kind of what the trend is even though um, you'll see ups and downs in that average price this this shows you kind of what that average trend looks like so something that can be very useful in understanding that that trend data so one other thing that you're going to want to do like let's say you want to change the color here we've got blue on blue so what you can do is click on click on the trend line and it's going to give you some different options on being able to customize it so you can do exponential lines linear uh, logarithmic moving average whatever it might be we're just going to stick with our, our linear average there and then you can do different effects here. We're going to leave it as is. 
but what we want to do is change the color so what we'll do is you'll see the the fill in line option here so we're going to click on that and then you can do different widths so we, if we want to make it thicker you'll see it's getting thicker there we'll leave it down where it was we'll leave it about two if you want to do a dash or you can do a solid line which gets kind of confusing so we'll just we're going to go with one of these other a dash types and we want to change the color so that it is red so all we do is click on the color down there and that's where we'd find those options. You can click on more colors and find uh, a wide variety of colors there. But this gives us a, a little bit better distinction between what those two lines are. So again, very easy to, to go in and to be able to manipulate it. If you want to do it with this other home purchase chart here, we can just click on that trend line and you'll see there's the chart styles. Uh, we can click on that and also edit as we need to, but we're going to leave it as is for now. So that, that's an easy way to go about formatting and, and color changing. Hope this answers your questions. You know, if you do have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to, to answer or make any additional videos here. And please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy.